hello good morning everyone hope so all you are fit and fine so today from sst book the chapter number 10 land and water we are going to start okay so let's start in this video you will learn about our beautiful earth we all live on the earth it is the hope of all living things the earth is round in shape it is made up of land and water it has one part land and three parts water the earth has a thick layer of air all around it it looks blue from space the land and water are not the same everywhere they vary from place to place so let's learn about the main land forms and water bodies on the earth you will start with landforms. There are many types of land on the earth. Number one is plain. A plain is a level and flat land. It is easy to grow crops on plains. The land of a plain is very fertile. Most cities of our country are in the plain. Next is hill. A high level land with pointed top is called a hill hills are made up of hard rocks it is difficult to grow crops on hills and hills are cooler than plains next we have is mountain mountain is a raised part of the earth's surface much larger than a hill the top of a mountain is called its peak the peak of very high mountains are covered with snow Many rivers are formed with the snow on these mountains melts. Next we have plateau. A plain on a hill or a mountain is called a plateau. The plateau looks like a table, so it is also called table land. Next is desert. Desert is a very large area of land covered with sand is called a desert. There is very little water in the deserts, so there are few animals and plants in the deserts. Do you know the most useful animal in the desert? Yes, you know the answer. Think. Next is valley. A low and between hills or mountains is called a valley. There are thick forests in the valleys. The shape of a valley is like a letter V. Usually rivers flow through a valley and the land of a valley is very good for growing crops. Next we have is island. A piece of land surrounded by water on all sides is called an island. The weather of island is very pleasant. Now let's know about forests. The large green areas completely covered with trees are called forests. A forest is the natural home of wild animals and we all know what is wild animals because we have read about them. Now peninsula, it is, a, it is a piece of land surrounded by water on three sides is called a peninsula. Its Bengali meaning is Upodip. The land of peninsula may be plain or rocks and you will be surprised to know that India is an example of peninsula itself. Yes, I am talking about our motherland India. Now let's know and read about water bodies. There are different water bodies on the earth. First is river. A white channel through which water flows continuously is called a river. The two sides of a water are called its bank. Most rivers have their origin in the mountain. Next is lake. A large area of water surrounded by land on all sides is called a lake. People enjoy boating in the lakes. Next water body is waterfall. When water falls from a great height or it forms a waterfall. And waterfall looks very beautiful from a distance. Next is seas and oceans. These are very large water bodies are called seas and oceans. They have salty water and we cannot use this water for cooking or drinking. Many animals live in the seas and oceans. Next is pond. A pond is a small pool filled with water. 
A pond easily dries in the summer. Ponds are natural or man-made. Rainwater collects in ponds. Now, at the last, we are going to know about stream. The upper parts of the high mountains are covered with snow and ice that we have just come to know. The snow and ice melt into water during summer. This water flows down in the form of streams. Was the chapter. Hope so you have enjoyed the video. Now it's time to read the chapter once again. Read the chapter once again. Watch the video again and again. And if you face any problem to understand in any sector, feel free to call me and contact me. Once again, I will make you understand. And now after this, little bit classwork activities will be there. But before this, read the chapter once again. And wait till next class. Till then, tata bye bye. Be happy. Be healthy. Bye everyone.